the biggest problem with solo leveling so far. Now, we've been farming these solo leveling video essays on YouTube. Finally, someone has something bad to say about solo leveling. Let's see what Mr. 414 Anime has to say, or maybe it's just a clickbait. Solo leveling is without a doubt the most hyped up and most anticipated anime coming out this winter yep. 2024 season. But has it delivered? Everybody just fucking shows this same footage, but has it delivered? But has it delivered? After episode two? Yeah, I think so. Episode one by itself, no. And again, the only criticism that I keep hearing is the fact that episode one and two was split in half, which I think should have been combined. But other than that, I think it's delivered by the end of episode two, yeah? Solo leveling is a huge title, right? It's an extremely popular manhwa that people have been raving about for years. So the expectations of this title delivering anything but epic standards is massive as a guy who knows absolutely nothing about solo leveling other than it's a hardcore popular series well what do we make of its debut you know does it make an impact does it don't tell me he's only gonna focus on episode one and not about episode two i don't even know when this video was made so if this guy is only anime only and he doesn't know the source material that means that he cannot judge the series you know, based on future content. So he only has what the anime has shown so far. If you've all watched episode two, I doubt that he's gonna have criticism. I feel like this video was fucking made. It was uploaded two days ago, but I feel like at this point, he's only watched episode one. Come out swinging. Will the anime adaptation of solo leveling break the internet just as it did before? Hmm, I don't know. I won't lie to you. I was expecting a lot from solo leveling's first episode. I had okay, heard again, hype on so again, we're going to focus in on the first episode. I hope he talks about the second episode, but if you look at some of the... Okay, so here's my guess, right? If I kind of zoom forward, I think this is all still episode one material, right? I don't think I've seen episode two content here. And the fact that he is showing... Oshinoko at the end, he's gonna give a comparison on why episode one of- ah, Actually, no, no, this is episode two. This is episode two. But the fact that he's bringing Oshinoko at the end here implies that Oshinoko episode one, you know, had like a movie premiere and everyone was super hyped about it. So he'll make the comparison about that and say that's why it's like the biggest problem. Social media, like you honestly can't ignore all the fans sucking off this series, which I'm all for, by the way. If a series is off the walls crazy, then good, sing its praises. It gets me damn excited for when I finally get to check it out. And that mm -hmm. time is now. So I sat down all high and mighty with my top. Kurumi Mertz! Kurumi Mertz again. This is like the Kurumi guy that has like, I don't even know how much. People did like a rough ballpark estimate. I'm not sure if it went to the six figures, but like just based on the merch that he's shown in his Kurumi videos, it's kind of dangerous. Snacks, kind of looking at the anime with those deadpan eyes if I was, you know, some sort of expert in the field of anime. And I was like, go on then, solo leveling. Impress me. Show me what you've got and show me why you've earned the praise of so many a man. And the result was mixed, let's say, and I didn't really mm. have a solid answer to my question off of the first episode. Again. Ep off of the first episode. So two got me a little closer to the Here we go. answer of will solo leveling break the internet with its anime adaptation, but we'll talk the answer to that a little later on. For now, we'll look at what I thought was quite a mixed bag, really. And I'll just come out and say it, but the first episode was really quite slow. However, that slow, slow because all it's doing is just explaining shit. It needs to set the foundation up. And yeah, the pacing could have been better, but like if you rush the explanations, then the foundation isn't there. There has to be some setup episodes. It's just unfortunate that the first episode was a setup episode. Was fine with me. As someone who knew nothing about the series, it was actually good to get some explanation of the core elements. The world of solo leveling and how it works. The cast of characters in the show, you know, who they are, where they are currently at, what is their drive, what are they working towards, and also a feel for what to expect from solo leveling as a vibe. So we find out that there is our world and there are these gates that appeared 10 years ago that can connect to our world. These mm -hmm. gates are like dungeons with monsters and magic, and some people on our side have superhuman powers of their And they activate as soon as the portals open. Coincidence? I think not. ...known as hunters. These hunters are sent to clear these dungeons so that the monsters within these gates do not gain access to our world where they would wreak havoc and destruction. Each of these gates has its own difficulty where the monsters are way stronger and the rewards are far greater. And to determine if a hunter is strong enough to take on this dungeon, they are all assigned a rank based on their power. They basically just put their hand on this map 
magic ball. I'm just like, oh, you are E rank. Congratulations. Get the fuck out of here. These classes run from S class through to E class. We're then introduced to our boy Jin Wu, the protagonist of the series we shall be following throughout the story. And from one look at him, you can definitely tell where this guy sits. And yet, you get. What do you mean? From one look at him, you can definitely tell where this guy sits. You know, I, I feel like, well, if you compare his like design versus obviously what he turns into, then yeah. But I, he, he just, he's a good looking dude. He's just an average looking dude. Come on now, he doesn't even look ugly at all. He, he looks a little bit kind of like small and pinner, but come on. You can definitely tell where this guy sits, and yet you guessed it. Yeah, he sits in like E rank. He's the weakest. Yeah. He's an E-class hunter. He could, he could use a better haircut for sure. However, he's known by a pretty unfortunate title. That be the, the biggest problem with the haircut is the sides, dude. It's the sides. If he would just get the fucking sides shaved and he just kept like the 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 hair above, um, that's pretty much his fucking design in the future. It's just these sides are in the back is shaved, you know? These sides are the shave while he keeps the top part. That that's pretty much his hairstyle app moving Being forward. The world's weakest. So yeah, poor Jin Wu is the weakest hunter there is. Even for an E rank, he is known to be at the bottom of the barrel. This guy joins in on these dungeons and is always getting badly injured and survives by the skin of his teeth. So why is he doing this? Money. Senior Hunter seems to be the worst. Medical bills. To have. Even the pay college bills are ridiculous in comparison to the risks he puts himself through. Well, it's pretty gosh darn noble actually, and it makes me cry a little. He puts himself through this hell so he can help pay for his mother's medical bills yeah. and put his sister through college. Where the fuck is dad, bro? What the fuck is dad doing? Yo, where's the fucking family man here? bringing the bills and where, where the dad just fucked off and again in a series like this like any main character's parents that's missing or not really talked about in the beginning they're probably gonna get reintroduced in the future and they're probably gonna be super important come on now my guy why hero now i honestly think getting another job would be a better solution for him but hey there's a story going on here so i understand that now the world and the premise seems cool we have a protagonist who seems like a great guy and from the hype of this show we know he's going to go on to do far greater things let's face it from episode one we get a taste of some of the other characters you know the cute healer girl where romance seems to be maybe on the cards some no i don't i i, I don't know man it is because I would say that, but then we have Cha hae who was like fucking introduced in like the beginning couple minutes of Solo Leveling. And the fact that everybody is reusing her fucking one scene where she flips over a bike and the ass scene is right there with the cameraman. Like, no, come on now. Like, Juhi is the classic. She's not even a childhood friend. She's just a nice girl that's just going to get fucking replaced by Cha hae -in. It's like, if you've watched any sort of media, it's just like the most obvious shit. Some of the hunters, some of them are legends, and those who have just started families in... <laughs> you fucking idiot. Why would you say this? <laughs> oh, my got a second child on its way. I better declare this in front of everybody to raise death flags for myself. Not once, not twice, but thrice. Some extra cash in doing these dungeons, so I, I won't lie. This guy was definitely a red flag for me when... 100% a red flag! Like blaring with air horns, just going beep. I'm gonna die, guys. I was like a child coming on its way. Found out that little bit of information about him, and we even got a glimpse at Cha Hyun right here, dude. It's like they 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 fucking showed this character in the beginning. People say that this girl, like, did they show this in the webtoon? Some people are saying in the comments about how this girl was not shown this early. So if the anime is already going out of their way to kind of, well, they want to like hype up the audience, right? If the girl shows up in the web too in like fucking five years down the line, a couple hundred chapters, but people don't get the hype immediately in the beginning, you know, it's bad. So marketing wise, right? You want to show up the main wife who should let people know that, hey, this girl exists. She exists here. Rank hunter in don't worry about Juhi. <laughs> this girl exists. The smoking hot blonde. The episode even gave us tiny Boom. subtle fan service shots of her. Cool. And we finally get our taste of action in the dungeon. And of course, we see our boy Jin Wu getting shanked by a lowly goblin and nearly dies. This is showing Bruh. us just another dungeon raid for this Bruh. guy and emphasizing his weakness, but highlighting his drive and character. Again, cool. So it all seems pretty kind of standard. Uh, I was enjoying it, but I wasn't blown away. So he's calling it mid. Standard is a nice euphemism for, you know, you know, it sounds like mid, but it's not as bad as mid. Standard, huh? I'm going to use that word more and more. It feels standard. And honestly, he's not wrong. 414 anime is correct. So far, it's just like, 
did anything blow you out of the water? It's like, no. Everything that you see up to this part in solo leveling anime episode one, it's, it's pretty mid. I'm not going to lie. Like, did this like, did you watch that? And you were like, no fucking way. Were you like, this is the anime. This is cinema. No, you don't say that. You kind of say that at the end of episode two, but this is just build up. Like, you remember, you need to have setup. And sometimes there's going to be some slow part. It doesn't mean the whole anime is bad. It's just that other people are going to receive this episode, this setup, this standard scenes with a little bit more lenience because people are glazing the series, because everyone is hyping the fuck out of the show. So people are obviously going to have you know, higher expectations, even if the standard portion of the episode was quote-unquote mid. And then we get that mystery door. This get the fuck out. Why are, you, why are you in front of a door like this, right? You see a door this big, you run. But these people are dumb and they're going to die. Get that mystery door. This thing appears out of nowhere and has never been explored before. So what is it? Is it an extension of this dungeon? Is it a D rank or maybe a Double B? dungeon. What if it was A ranked or God forbid S rank? S rank. Well, what if it's beyond the S rank, but it's a double dungeon, right? They went in there and we saw these statues and I was like that pointing DiCaprio meme as I recognized these statues from stuff I had seen online. So I- What? What? what, 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 what do you recognize these statues from what? Statues from stuff I had seen online seen online so it's kurumi on the main throne and you got a bunch of waifu this is a hundred girlfriends in the bottom left right this is asuka we have i'm not sure who this one is ralph talia this is one of the main twins from ReZero, and we have chica i guess these are his main waifus huh wait so he's basically saying all these waifus are beneath kurumi <laughs> which is maybe true i don't know so i knew it was gonna be bad in here and not just from that the atmosphere and the soundtrack were oof, awesome we got a very small teaser of what's to come in this part of the episode and I, I will admit that was extremely hype now we're gonna get on to episode two but my first impression of okay. solo leveling was really mixed from that first episode i enjoyed it don't get me wrong but from the hype around this title this is what happens when people overhype the fuck out of a series so everybody has their standard much higher right if people didn't have such a high level of expectation from this series then episode one probably would have been received even a little bit more positively it's just if you hype shit up people are gonna expect a lot more and episode one due to the nature of the structure of the one hour premiere being separated to two that's the limitation of it is that solo leveling's fault not really that's the fucking production team's fault right it's whoever just whoever decided they wanted to split the two episodes in half right so Again, like when 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 YouTube YouTubers, right? When content creators want to get the most out of a trending series, you kind you kind of want to say some controversial shit, right? You don't want to just glaze shit up. You want to say something. You want to go against the grain, the unpopular opinion. But it's object objectively true. The unpopular opinion might be that Soul Leveling is trash. He's not saying that, but you can build on that and say, well, it was actually not good because of episode one structure, which he seems to be focusing a lot on because obviously episode two was just too good, right? Well, I was expecting way more. It did give yeah, me something fair. to talk about at the end, fair. of course, but it took 19 minutes to give me that feeling of damn. And again, it was only around for a short period of time before the episode ended. Like, awesome cliffhanger. I totally appreciate that. And it was more than satisfactory. But until that, the episode was just... Standard. Okay. Like, okay, I thought you said standard again. I like that word for mid. I was still conflicted on my original question. Is solo leveling going to break the internet each week? Each week? Probably not. Unless there's like an arc where every episode is just a fucking banger, which I wouldn't expect that to happen in season one, right? People are saying like, oh, the next, you know, part that gets super dummy hype is like episode 10 based on the amount of chapters that they're kind of like adapting per episode. I don't know where people are getting these figures from. I'm just kind of saying other people's, you know, what they're saying. After that first episode... I found I found it was kind of 50-50. From what I saw online, some were saying it was absolutely amazing. Some said to wait for it because they're just cooking. And yeah, let it were, cook. Of course, saying it was mid and like a weak adaptation. And weak adaptation, no. And you know what? Mid doesn't even mean it's bad. Do you know what mid means? Mid means like medium, right? It's not peak. It's not high. 
it's not low. It's it's not like really bad. Mid is just right the fucking average part. Mid isn't even bad. It's just that it's been coined as a popular phrase where it makes it sound like it's, you know, worse than bad. I thought episode one was just like a solid like seven out of ten. You know, it's like nothing special. They laid the foundation for this world. It was interesting. But episode two is where that, you know, seven, in my opinion, turns into like a high nine or perhaps even a 10. They were pretty disappointed by it. Me, I was somewhere in the middle, but that was solely because I was expecting this thing to blow me away from the very beginning. Exactly, this is the problem. Everybody hypes the shit out of something and the first episode doesn't deliver just because it's a setup episode. It's not even its fault. It's just the nature of it. So it's like, it's a combination for a fucking the perfect storm of haters to criticize on shit that's not even a problem. These are not problems. It's just the nature of a fucking setup episode. And it's the production team that decided to split the fucking setup part of this one hour premiere in the first episode into the second episode. Again, terrible fucking decision in my opinion. Due to the hype around this series. Sure, it left me gobsmacked at the end and I knew I was very excited for the next episode. But overall for an episode one, I wasn't blown away i yeah, just fair. intrigued for more fair. and i guess that's fine but then we move on to episode two uh and again i saw comments on social media before i watched this where people oh. were hyping this episode saying it was like attack on titan stun yeah i felt like it was and that got me excited but i thought i'd go into it with just the intrigue episode one left me with and i wouldn't have such huge expectations like i did for episode one and how did that turn out um well yeah they're like that that episode really had me like joseph joestar in stardust crusaders for like the whole 20 minutes it had absolutely everything that i wanted you know it, epicness tension huge moments and again a solid solid cliffhanger i'll go as far as saying i shat myself throughout most of this episode because my man, you gotta get those sphincter muscles checked out, but, like, again, everybody has anything good to, everything good to say about episode 2, right? Like, the video is almost already done, so obviously he's gonna focus on the criticism, focused on episode 1. And I think that, like, these are not actual problems, right? If people's only criticism of this series so far is the fact that episode 1 was mid, because it's a setup episode... Yeah, it, it was just a setup episode, right? Like, yeah, I don't think there's an actual problem. It was so damn good. Honestly, more of this, please. Now, where did this leave me with my initial question? And my thoughts after this was that I really thought they should have dropped both of these episodes together as well. Why didn't they do that? Like, why the fuck? Who, dis who, who made the dumbass business executive decision to fucking lead in with the most anticipated anime with the fucking setup episode? Which dumbass did that? One 40-minute episode and really come out with a bang. I honestly think the internet would have been blown up if it was done like this. True. So let's face it, episode ones are so important these days especially for anime like this one that have a lot of hype around it and it's not uncommon to have longer first episodes these days in fact it was pretty much a trend last year like do you remember the impact oshinoko had with its first episode yep perfect example of a series for me personally that i had no idea about zero expectations zero hype because I'm not on fucking Reddit looking at all the fucking anime subreddits saying, oh, Ocean of Course gonna be the next biggest thing ever. I had like no idea about what this show was gonna be. So again, completely open-minded. The bar of standard for the expectation was like, like nothing, right? So I just watched it. I'm like, all right, it is what it is. And it got super interesting, went all over the place. Then it delivered with the incredible, is it a plot twist at the end? It's a shock at the end, right? That left a fucking mark on my heart, right? Because I didn't have any... And to, like expectation for the show so oshinoko to me is like the perfect example personally of a show where if you don't have a lot of like hype and expectation and glaze of a series that you don't really hear about but you just go in to a good show like your experience is going to be much more enhanced but for solo leveling because people have already hyped it up the best you can do is just meet satisfaction and if not, even if it like even if it was like so good because people had their expectations so hyped up It'll never deliver on that, which I think is like a curse. So like, it's, it's a really weird phenomenon in just like human psychology where things that are really good and you want to like share with other people and you, you, you hype it up and you tell them, oh, this is going to be so good, bro. This is going to be so good, bro. Right. You try to share like a, with your friend, like a new anime for them to watch. And you know how great it is. And you tell them all these great things about it. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll watch episode one. They'll be like, that shit was mid. And it's like, what the fuck did you just say? But again, it's because you just raised the bar too high. You just kind of, kind of, 
you know, you got you got to just kind of give it softly, just nudge him and like, hey, this is all right, go watch it. But that kind of contradicts with the concept of marketing for big products like this when you're trying to make the most amount of money on a huge name. So it's just un just you know, it's it's just unfortunate, but it's not. I don't think it's an actual problem because episode two still did execute and the future episodes should be still hype enough where people will probably still complain about how oh, everyone's going to be like, oh, Webtoon's still way better. Oh, this could have been so much better. But those people are just always going to be around there. Yeah, that was like an hour and a half, but it dropped its big impact all at once. And it got the internet in like a state of frenzy. Yeah. If you remember, iHoshino was literally everywhere. And I think that blew Oshinoko. And where is she now? Where is she now? Oh, she no me. I'm kidding. Into what it has become. So yeah, the first episode of Solo Leveling was good, but if they had combined the first two episodes into one, then I think it would have been it would chaos, absolute chaos online. Yeah, you can argue episode one had the cliffhanger moment, but so does episode two. Personally, I would have been left blown away and my expectations well satisfied mm -hmm. if they had combined these two episodes into one. But as for this thing blowing up the <laughs> internet, ass again. if it stays like this, then I can see it doing so 100%, especially as I I know there is still so much to come from Jin Wu going forward. The only hiccup for me, I think, was its start, but that was probably down to my expectations. Have you seen solo leveling and what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it will blow up the internet each week? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't know about blowing up the internet each week, but I do know that it's gonna blow up my analytics each week. God damn, thank you so much, 414 Anime, for giving me another solo leveling video to farm please like this video sub to this channel if you liked and again i think the only problem which is not even a problem with solo leveling is simply the structuring of episode one and episode two which should have been combined and if that's the only problem that had and because people had unrealistic expectations due to everyone like myself on the internet just glazing this series up saying oh 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 solo leveling so fucking good oh, you know it's not an actual problem but anyways look forward to the next episode